Hello everyone. In this video, I'll quickly demonstrate a few Cloudversive Document Conversion Connector actions which collectively allow you to create and edit Word documents within the Power Automate Flow Diagram page. There are many different business use cases for this, so I'll jump right into my demonstration and show you how it works. As always, I'm first creating an instant cloud flow so I can test with full control over my data. Once this process is complete, I'm clicking Create so I can head to the Flow Diagram page. Once we reach the diagram page, we can begin by clicking New Step and typing Cloudmersive into the search bar. From here, we can select the Cloudmersive Document Conversion Connector with the green logo from the list of options below. If you've used this connector before, you'll jump straight to the Actions list from here, but if you haven't, you'll first encounter a connector login step. This step asks for your API key, which you can get for free by registering a free account on our website. Once you copy that key in here, it'll save for you and you won't need to worry about doing that again. Now that we've reached the actions list, let's type create a blank Word document into the search bar and select the relevant option when it comes up. Once we do that, we've already created a new document, plain and simple. If all you need to do is create a document with a single line of text, such as I'm adding right now, this might be all you need and you can skip the following step. However, if we're looking to put additional content into this new document, we'll need to add an additional step or two on top of this. To that end, there are a bunch of different DocX customization options available through the Document Conversion Connector. Let's click New Step and navigate to the Document Conversion Connector once again. Once we reach the Actions list, let's type DocX and quickly peruse the options we have to specifically edit our DocX document. As you can see, there are a lot of actions we designed to edit or pull content from existing Word documents, which is a topic for a different video. Then, there are plenty which allow us to insert entirely new information into a newly created file. The way this works is the Create Blank Document step will provide a temporary and highly secure editing URL, which we can pass down to subsequent steps to specify edits we're making to that document. For your reference, security policies dictate that this temporary URL only lasts for 30 minutes and can't be used to view the document directly. I'll set up an insert paragraph operation to show you how this part works. After finding and selecting the insert paragraph action, we are now confronted with a massive amount of input request parameters to customize one or more paragraphs in our new file. As a general rule, you can do anything in a document programmatically that you can do manually, so many of these options are allowing us to literally define style and positioning as well as the actual text contents. For the sake of simplicity in this demo, I'm first going to pass in the temporary editing URL, and then I'm going to specify that I want my new text object placed after the initial text I already added from the create document step. After that, I'm going to make my text bold, specify Times New Roman font, make my text size 24, and then make my text italicized for the heck of it. Below that, I'm then going to write a random sentence into the text content one field and leave it at that for now. Now our document is customized the way we want it, so we can wrap up our flow. First, however, we need to convert our temporary editing URL into actual docx file encoding. To do that, we need to create a new step and once again head to the document conversion connector. Once we reach the actions list, we can type finish editing document and select the appropriate action below. All we need to do here is include the temporary file editing URL into this field and we're ready to create our file. In the interest of time, I'm now quickly speeding through a SharePoint create file step, which will use the output encoding to generate the new file. Once I reach the file content stage, I just need to grab output content from the finish editing step via the dynamic content window, and I'm all done. Now we can save and test our flow. After confirming connections, running the flow, and ensuring each step works as intended, I'm heading to my new file and opening it to ensure it contains the contents I specified. As you can see, I have the initial text I wanted at the top of my document, and after that, I have my bolded and italicized one-sentence paragraph in Times New Roman font. The great thing is you can dive really deep into your customizations using these connector actions and insert things like tables, images, and all sorts of other objects. With our demo complete, we've reached the end of this video. Thank you for watching, and if you found this video helpful, feel free to check out dozens of additional demonstrations on our channel.